Hey guys, it's Blade again from Cardio Security and today we've got something a little bit new, some brand new speakers from Focal. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the new slate fiber range from Focal. Uh, over to my right here, we have a two-way component. Now, component is a separate tweeter, mid, and usually it will come with a crossover as well. Now, in this case, it is that exactly. So you have your mid here. So it's a six and a half inch mid in this case. You have a crossover, which is a filter almost. I'll explain that in a second. And you have a tweeter. So you obviously have a pair of each and that will give you your set. And then to my left, you have a coaxial. Now a coaxial is basically all of this in one. So you have a mid and a tweeter with a built-in crossover all ready to go. So for now, let's concentrate on the components. So we have the contents of the components unpacked here. So essentially what you get as the whole kit, you have a pair of six and a half inch mids, woofers, uh, you have two pairs of separable crossovers. Uh, I'll explain that in a second. You have a pair of tweeters. You have two different mounting options for the tweeters themselves. So you have a flush mount or surface mount uh, tweeter pod, or you have um, a, a surface mount angle tweeter pod. Uh, also, you get some screws, clips, nuts and bolts to attach it to your vehicle. But now in terms of the specs of the actual speakers themselves. So in the woofer itself, as I mentioned, you have a slate fiber cone. So the slate fiber allows it to be a very clear, very crystal clear sound. Um, it's almost biased to the SQ side of things, well, very much biased to the SQ side of things, uh, meaning sound quality. Um, almost like a reference style speaker, very, very clear, very high quality speaker. Um, it even shows that these are quality because on the home side, they make these as a home theater speaker or, or freestanding bookshelf speaker. Uh, so these are very, very good. In terms of the suspension, so the rubber around, it's a butyl rubber um, and you have an aluminum basket and center cone and it's a ferrite magnet underneath. Now these are 80 watts RMS and they are 91 decibel sensitivity. So they're very, very sensitive to the voltage that they, they take in. They're gonna be very clear, uh, very crisp, um, brilliant, brilliant sound quality from these. Now onto the crossovers. So to quickly give you a rundown on what a crossover is, it essentially is a filter. So it takes a full range frequency input, which is anywhere from 30 Hertz to 30 kilohertz, so 30,000 Hertz. Um, and it filters that down to the individual speakers. So we have two speakers here. So usually it would come as one piece. Um, they've actually separated it to give it uh, ease of use in terms of installation, um, but it still does the same thing. So you have a full range input in both. So the input for the woofer, it comes in and then back out into the woofer. So that way the woofer is not playing too much high frequency. So it's just focusing on its main job, which is mid to lows. And then you would daisy chain over into the input of the tweeter. Um, so input and then output to the tweeter itself. It would give you the only the higher frequencies and no lower frequencies, which is very bad for a tweeter and you're gonna end up blowing it. Um, so that's what that does. It keeps your speakers safe and making them play as best they can. Now onto the tweeter. So it is an inverted dome tweeter. If you can see, it's an inward dome and it's a metal tweeter. It's a, it's a mixture of aluminium and magnesium, which gives you a very, very crystal clear sound with your higher frequencies. It's not too harsh. It's just right. It's not too harsh on the ears. It's just going to give you a re really, really nice clear sound. Um, and obviously, like I say, they're going to go into the tweeter side of the crossover. Okay, so in terms of the whole package, uh, the frequency response on these speakers is from 60 hertz to 21 kilohertz. So it has a very wide band of uh, frequencies that it can play, which allows any kind of music to be able to be played through these at any given point. Now, obviously, 60 hertz is quite low for a six and a half inch mid. Um, they might be trying to play too hard if you're playing them at high volumes. So we tend to say just play them or, or cut your frequencies a little bit higher than that. Um, but it's down to you at the end of the day. It's nice to know that they can play a bit, bit lower. Um, the final imp impedance, sorry, <laughs> Final impedance on the total uh, system here is four ohms. So very widely accessible for most 
car audio systems, four ohms that can be played in most uh, amplifiers and stuff like that, so you haven't got a problem there. Specifications in terms of size, uh, it is obviously a six and a half inch driver and it is a 70 mil mounting depth, so just double check you have enough depth if you're looking to purchase these. And the tweeter is a one inch tweeter. But why would you use a component? Now, having a separated tweeter is very, very important for sound stage. Now, a, a mid is gonna be uh, obviously mid frequencies. Mid frequencies don't tend to be very directional. Uh, to give you an explanation, with a subwoofer, you can hear someone coming down the street with a subwoofer from a mile away, but you can never directly see where that's coming from. Um, but with a tweeter, with a smaller speaker, when it's very high, high pitched and high frequency, you can always tend to hear where that's coming from. So when you have your tweeter at ear or shoulder level, it allows your sound stage to be much better and it sounds like it's right in front of you. So that's why you would choose a component over a coaxial, especially in the front of the vehicle. If you obviously haven't got the option for component, if you haven't got a loca location for tweeters or you don't want to fit tweeters, you do have the option for the coaxial, which I'll show you now. Okay, so here we have the coaxial version. Now, widely similar to the component, very, very similar specs, still 80 watts RMS, uh, still the same materials used, but the main difference is the fact that the tweeter is built into the speaker. So as I've said, if you don't have the space, the time, the money to have a separate tweeter, it's gonna make sense for you to have it all built into one. Um, now what you'll find is this is more user friendly for the rear of the vehicle where the sound stage doesn't matter too much. Um, it just allows you to just drop a speaker in and be done with it. Um, but saying that, even in the front of the vehicle, this is gonna be a really, really nice quality upgrade for you. Um, so again, it's a aluminium dome tweeter with magnesium in there as well. A slate fiber cone, a butyl rubber surround, an aluminium basket, and a ferrite magnet underneath. Like I said, 80 watts RMS still, so it's the same power as your front as your rears if you go for the components front and these rear. Um, but yeah, really, really good upgrade on these uh, for these speakers here. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up the video. Uh, I've shown you the difference between the components, the coaxials, all the features, the materials used. Um, but quick overview, obviously they are the slate fiber cones. Um, very good power, very good frequency response, um, multiple fitting options on these. Just a good all round speaker upgrade. Now, these will be available on our website at carwardysecurity.com and our sister company, The Tuning Store. Make sure you check them out. Um, that's pretty much it from me. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.